Hey everybody, Cecil here. Time for the Friday update for HexKit. Um, if you've looked at your calendar though, you might have noticed that it's Thursday and you might be wondering why we're early. Um, the HexKit Kickstarter campaign wraps up Saturday afternoon and in between now and then we're kind of hoping for an influx of traffic and I'd like to be able to you know, respond to last minute questions and comments and messages and emails and I'd like to be able to drive the, the hype train around the internet a little bit faster. So to give myself enough space to do that, um, I want to go ahead and push this update out. For this uh, update, we're going to look at two of HexKit's features that have we've gotten the most questions about and the most suggestions for, um, random map generation and using custom art in HexKit. Um, those are the two like biggest things that we, we get comments about, and um, we want to look at sort of the expansions we've given to those features since our last update. So in last week's video, we talked about random map generation and how you'll be able to use sort of prefabricated parameters for the generator to, to load your random map seeds. Um, but maybe you, you're not in love with those parameters or that system. Maybe you want to make your own custom random map or you've imported your own custom tiles and you want to make a random map with those. Ross has been working pretty hard on a custom map generator and we want to show part of it off. Um, keep in mind, just like everything we've shown before, we're you know things may change. We're still considering it alpha, um, but we yeah we wanted to show it off. So the way that this custom map generator works is you'll be able to select the tiles that you want to generate and mix them around to um, decide the levels of of what gets added to the map. So we've added just a blank star tiles, blank star map. Um, but maybe we want to add these ice planet tiles to it also. So you can add those to your your slider here and moving them around dictates how many tiles appear in relation to the other tiles. Um, let's add another tile into the mix. So yeah, looking pretty good. I want to make like a icy asteroid situation. That's too much. That's much better. Yeah, and then once you get the map looking like you, you want with the, the generator, you can go back in and add your layers and your icons and things like that. Um, the random map generation will support multiple layers, so you'll be able to randomly generate the terrain as well as icons and, and things like that, um, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so that's the custom map generator. All right. The last thing that I want to talk about before we wrap this video up is also a feature that we showed last time but have since sort of expanded, um, and that's importing custom tiles. We've had a lot of comments and questions from users who are really interested in using their own you know, custom artwork and hex kit, and uh, we're really excited about that too. We look forward to a day when there's just bazillions of hex kit compatible tiles floating around the internet. And uh, we want to make sure that importing those tiles in, into HexKit is pretty simple. So Pierre has been working on a new import tool to make sure that the hex tiles that you import are the right size and uh, position correctly so that they look you know, really good with your map. So we're going to go ahead and bring in a bird icon I drew. And we got to go to the bird folder, which is here. Uh, open that. It loads the icon in this editor window, and you can use the buttons across the top to rotate it and position it and resize it. So we're going to make it the right size and hit save. And then we'll go to the bird folder and we'll make a new bird layer. And now we can put these cool birds on our map. Awesome. Yep. So that's that's the way editing your imports will work. Um, things may change, like I said earlier. But yeah, this is our last update before the end of the Kickstarter. And I want to say thanks to all of our backers again. Thanks to everyone who's pledged. Thanks to those of you who've shared the campaign across the internet. Um, it's been a lot of fun. We've, we've raised a lot of money and that really helps with production. Uh, I want to go ahead and say thanks again to Ross and Pierre also. Um, these are the engineers behind HexKit and back in December they signed up to, to work for free until I could raise the, the money I needed to pay them. 
and they've done a great job. And without them and without, you know, your help, you know, those of you who've, who've pledged to the campaign, this wouldn't be happening. So thanks, everybody. This has been a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to continued development, and we'll talk to you later.